Ladies and gentlemen, the aim of the European Day of Justice is to bring justice closer to our citizens and to make them aware of their rights. This day is an opportunity to highlight the essential role of judges, prosecutors, lawyers and court clerks in our democracy. It is also an opportunity to call on all European states to guarantee the full independence of judges, both in legislation and in practice. It is worth repeating that in matters of democracy, nothing can ever be taken for granted. This is true also for the judiciary. Every year a European city offers to host the main event of this European day. I warmly welcome the initiative of the Lithuanian political and judicial authorities to organize the 10th edition of this event in Vilnius. This European Day of Justice is co-organized by the Council of Europe and the European Commission. And the reasons for this partnership are obvious. The Council of Europe and the European Union share the same values and principles when it comes to safeguarding and promoting the rule of law. We work together to build a genuine European legal space. I warmly welcome the fact that the European Commission relies on the work of the European Commission for the efficiency of justice as a source of information on judicial systems in EU member states. A few weeks ago, the CIPERS published its 2012 report, which evaluates the day-to-day -day functioning of the judicial systems in the Council of Europe member states, including the 27 European Union member states. This report provides a public uh, policy tool for policymakers and legal professionals in conducting judicial reforms. Today's event is also an op appropriate framework for awarding the crystal scales of justice to a judicial institution, having developed innovative practices for improving the efficiency and quality of judicial procedures. I would like to congratulate the 38 institutions which have participated in this competition, and in particular the four which have been shortlisted by the jury and are represented in Vilnius today. We will know in a few hours who has been awarded the new Crystal Scales of Justice Prize. Sharing experiences and good practices in this way can only contribute to further improving the work of European justice systems.